Hello everyone and welcome to another Sonic ROM hack and wow, 3D Blast music, nice. And this is Sonic Mega Mix. So let's just get started. I, I want to see what this is about. Uh, we're going to go with the save and we're going to start with Sunset Hill Zone. Oh wow. Now I've had many requests for this one and it actually... Oh wow, I have a... Wait, I have a homing attack? What the heck? That's not something I would expect to have. Interesting. But it looks like we have Sunset Hill, which looks just like Green Hill. Just saying, and it looks like we have a um, a Sonic 4 style homing attack. So that's very interesting. We have the out of here animation. Wait, that sounds familiar. That's Sonic 3 and Knuckles. It is very similar to Sonic 3 and Knuckles. It's it's the little sound bite that says go. So this has like a lot of music from a bunch of different games and a lot of slowdown. My goodness. Wait, so if I have that animation, do I have the super peel out? Or the peel out? I do. I have it right there. That's cool. It's more of an air dash than say some other uh other games and it actually does have some wow that was actually very cheap let me say it looks like I had a little window ah I had the fire shield for like a moment so I have to go down here oh I went right back into the loop so it's a lot of fast movement I'll give it that Like, this thing is really quick. It's like, blink and you'll miss it. I don't know if that'll work for a game like this, considering how much I can actually see on my screen. Also, the Sonic CD jump sound effect. I know someone like Red Hot Sonic really hates that. Oh, and hey, we actually got into a special stage. So, that was a crap ton of rings I got, and that was a bit of a long level. It's insane. This is Sonic 1 Mega Mix, so I've actually never played. Oh, you got uh, Sky Sanctuary. See, I know my Sonic levels, zones. Shh. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> I didn't mispronounce that. Uh, I've actually never done this before, so. Oh dear. Yeah, no, we're not going this direction. So these are just like the Sonic 1 special stages, but they're just altered to the point where they're not even recognizable. So I guess I have to jump through here. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, yeah, I do. I do. Let's get myself wedged into this area. Okay, I never have to worry about that. That's probably like the biggest hint that you could ever get, or the biggest advice you can ever get about these stages. If you really want to get yourself out of a situation like that, just wedge yourself into something before you realize... So that way you can get a bit more comfortable with what uh, the scenario you're in. Oh, my goodness. Can I hit that? Yes, that's going to work really well. Oh, boy. Wait, what? I hit both. Did I get it? I got it, yes! Alright, awesome. So, we'll register the emeralds first. That's interesting. Um, I've actually never played these special stages before, so it's, like, really bizarre to see them. Even though I am very familiar with the Sonic 1 special stages. And we do start every level by running as fast as we can into the scenery. Oh my gosh, that slowdown is insane. I feel like that's something I can change in the settings, in like some kind of settings. But for now, we're gonna have to just live with it. I will give it that, you know, you can just, you can gain speed at the turn. Oh, this is a Sonic One trap. They just made it even more nerve-wracking. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, this is like insane. 
but I don't know if I would call it good for a Sonic 1 hack or something, only because there are a lot of moments for slowdown and stuff, and it's just... That is cheap. This is one of those that y you do get a lot of speed, but you have to you have to be able to use it properly. So, uh, I mean, technically you can say that for any game, and I can't believe I stopped right there. My question is this. What? Um, of everything I'm doing, what the heck are my shields for if they don't really serve much of a purpose? I have... I have a homing attack, but it doesn't really help in any way. Like, I have a homing attack, but whenever I get a shield, it never negates it or takes it away from me. That's basically what I'm trying to ask. It's bizarre. Oh, I got another one of these. No. No, okay. What if I... Yes, okay, this is the right path for me to take. Unless this is, like, a trap. I've been known to fall for those. It's right there. It is right freaking there. It's way the frick over there. Oh, I know... Okay. Got it. Whew. That is in that is interesting. Okay, so I have two emeralds now. I don't know if I get supersonic, but I would have to play the entire game to figure that out. Oh, hey, it's <laughs> wow. I hit that. It is just taking inspiration from everything. Actually, let's go. Let's go in this path. Oh, yeah, that's just what I need to go even faster. It's weird, because you can control exactly how fast you are going, but there are moments where you just let the game control you. I was going to say, I also lost my audio, but no, I didn't. I mean, look at this. I, I'm not even paying attention to anything I'm doing. I just breeze through this entire level. Also, that happened. I mean, I, I just feel like I can just... I don't know. It's, it, uh, I, I know I'm having a tough time coming up with what, what I can say about it, but it's just really weird. Given this much, I don't think there was a Sonic game that gave me this much speed that fast or without that much effort. Okay, so this is, I did not hit anything. I have a pretty sensitive, like, controller, so Xbox One controllers are a bit clicky, so I must have just, like, did a half press or something. I'm joking. But yeah, that was Sunset Hill Zone. Um... God, the, I, I know it's like almost two minute, like a minute and a half to two minutes for for each zone, but that felt like it went by really quick. So I guess what we can do is go through this a little bit further. That's Marble Zone. That's also. Hmm. Oh, dang it, that was my fault. It's like I've played Marble Zone so much in my life, I should know this by now. But it's also weird when I can just go as fast as I possibly can. It's weird that I'm getting this much speed from Marble Zone. That's basically what I'm trying to say. And how a lot of the traps are still here and still present when you have even more speed. I don't know if it quite works because at least with Sonic 1... The hazards were still built around Sonic's uh, Sonic's speed, his momentum, his speed cap, which I know is a thing that people don't like for whatever reason. It's like, um, I, I'm probably the only one who's okay with Sonic's speed cap in Sonic 1. Or I'm one of very few people. Or of a vocal minority, I guess. Because here's the thing, you have to have a balance between speed and platforming, I guess these days with Sonic games, when... Sonic 1 first came out, people were seeing it as, oh yeah, Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 came out, they're obviously better because you can go faster. It was like, that's not the point. It's the point that you also have to have good platforming. And Sonic it was a platforming game first before Sega screwed it up with its marketing. 
So if I have to blame Sega for anything, which people don't like when I do that, but I'm gonna do it anyways, it's for, I guess, misre misrepresenting Sonic 1's whole gimmick, or the whole thing with Sonic 1. It's a platformer first, but you can speedrun it once you get really good at it. Not, it's a speedy, it's a really fast game, so let's make it about speed. So I guess if I have any gripes with, uh, with people's depiction of the Sonic games, I'm not going to say that your game isn't perfect, I'm just going to say that you have to kind of look at it outside of its U.S. marketing. And then if I'm completely wrong about this with the whole Japanese marketing, marketing then I'm just going to say it's a platforming game first, then a fast game second. But I think this is like... Re okay, I'm going to say this. This is ridiculous. I mean, think about Green Hill Zone and everything. Think of Green Hill, Marble Zone. There's at least something to remember there, right? This game... Well, I mean, one thing that's memorable are, are the spike traps telling me to slow down, even though... I mean, at this point, I don't really care anymore. There's also cheap little things like that. And also, the slowdown's really kind of getting on my nerves. So, I'm, I don't know. I, I'm very mixed on this game. But I can see some possible good ideas that come from it. Also, this level is massive. I mean, look at that, three minutes. So, if I were to tell a newcomer to the game, like, how to play this, I'd say, you know that homing attack that you have? Yeah, don't use it. You know that spin dash that you have? Yeah, don't use that. I mean, the game's gonna give you a bunch of speed that you probably didn't earn in the first place. Thank you. Is there another one heading my way? Okay, there's that heading my way. I, I feel like if this game, if the game was zoomed out a bit more, it could work a little bit better. Also on top of that, this whole blocky platforming crap can go away. Actually, you know what this feels like? It feels like somebody tried taking Stardust Speedway and making it an entire game on its own. Like, just going with that for its level design. Because if you notice with Stardust Speedway, a lot of times you go super fast, but... Really? There's a lava pit right in front of that. Okay. But think of Stardust Speedway. There's a, either Mania or um, Sonic CD. Pick one. Why am I... What is up with that? What's with these janky... What's with this jank movement? Okay, anyways, uh, what I was trying to get at is the fact that... Think of those games... Uh, think of those levels, and it feels like somebody's like, Okay, let's take the speed of those levels, and some of its design, and then... That was my fault. And then, add some blocky platforming that you'd probably see out of, like, a... Um, a meh, uh, Sonic, not Sonic, but uh, Mario Maker level. That one barely clipped my foot. It's like, the game is not inherent that bad, although I don't know what's pulling me down. I feel like something's just pulling me down for the sake of doing that. Oh well. Um, it's not bad or anything? It's just doesn't fit that well. I jumped. I spent that... I was mashing the crap out of that A button. Um... So, this one's just odd. And also, that is not cool. It's this beginning area that's really has, like, the questionable move, uh, physics going on. Now I see where it's coming from. And if I hit, try to go past this, I'm going to get crushed. I don't know. Um, like, I, I guess it would... More spikes, really? This game just loves its spikes. Spike. Spikes go lower up in this game. 
Oh, spikes and slowdown, apparently. If anything, this game could use less speed. And traps and... Wow. This one's not a very good, not a very well-designed level. I'm surprised this game didn't add the Sonic 1 spike bug. I just feel like I'm running into hazards. Uh, sometimes not even on, as, like, on my own. Other times it just feels like I'm hitting something just for the sake of I went too fast because this game gave me that much momentum when I never attempt that. I don't know. Um, I, I'm sorry, but this one is a massive level. My goodness. But two. Okay, I can't go through that. So I have to go this way. Oh, I'm so lucky. I... Of course. Go through. Jeez, can you just give me more spikes? That's what I want more. More spikes in this ROM hack. Whoever created this must have been in love with spike trap ideas and also questionable enemy placement because wow, this is just a hot mess at this point. And I'm not saying that just because we're in a marble zone area. I'm really starting to mean it. So yeah, there's no pun intended, I'm just like, goodness. Something that looked like it had some promise, and you just... ...decided to just try to throw as many spike traps as possible into it, and you have Sonic Mega Mix. The special stages are really cool! Sunset Hill was okay, and this zone, no pun intended, again, is a thorn in the ass. Or thorn in my side. I don't care what part of it it's in. The point is... The homing attack is unnecessary. That is a spike trap right there, isn't it? No, that's just the one that doesn't have a spike on it. I can land right here. Land right into a potential hazard. I'm glad it didn't take the whole thing. It's like... Okay. Yeah, no... Ugh. Um, I guess... I mean, the music isn't the worst thing in the world, it's Genesis, so you're not gonna expect, like, the great... You might get some really good remixes, but that's about it. Um... Some are hit and miss. I'll, I'll give them credit for trying. But it's... Look at this stuff! It's like, hey, let's make this tough game, but let's give you a crap ton of rings just to make sure that you can't say it's hard or anything, or you can't say you can't get past anything. It's like, no, that's not how a game works. You don't... You don't add a bunch of health and say, hey, that's our bandage for this situation. It, it, you base, you have to design a good level, and this is just... I, look at that, four minutes. Holy freaking crap. Oh, okay, that's how I do that. All right. Now at least I know how to do that. I wish that was incorporated into a level design somehow. Really, really get you to use what you learn, but nope. You get blocky levels that are reminiscent of Sonic Forces, and to those saying, "Hey, you can't make fun of Sonic Forces," I've played it. I've beaten the game multiple times. I do like some parts of it, but I am gonna kind of give it some, give it some. Uh, I'm gonna just criticize the fact that the, especially Shadows levels or some of the 2D. I would probably just say Shadows levels were kind of blocky. Or at least um, the uh, Green Hill section was pretty blocky. Oh, wow. Oh, and there's the ring I was trying to get. You know what? That's honestly the best thing that could happen. Eh. If I hit that... Oh, gosh. Okay. You can hit that. There we go. I mean, just look at this entire level and tell me that there's nothing wrong... I dare someone to show me 
like to look at this entire level and tell me that there's nothing wrong that you see nothing out of the ordinary compared to any other sonic game because i can tell you the spike traps and any kind of hazard just in this one level alone is complete overkill and now dark fortress act three dare i even try and figure out what this is going to be there's an enemy in that block That might have, that could have been easily avoided. That's that's an on me kind of mistake. Also, the slowdown doesn't help. Janky movement or the um, the physics that don't feel right. There's it feels like something got really messed up. It like my fault. Look look at that. Okay, so when I jump here, actually no, it's like right here. If I do that, let's see if I can, do I really move on my own? I bump that, and then I move forward on my own. Like, I am not touching anything unless I bump it. I just bump that, and it just moves me forward. That was the weird thing I was experiencing. Um, so, yeah, this thing really has its issues. Oh, gosh, I actually killed it, and in a spot where it should have done damage to me. Okay, okay. Ooh. Okay, we're good. Uh, if I drop down here... It's so... Uh, I mean, yeah, Marble Zone was kind of like this. But not this much. I don't remember the amount of times I had to go through Marble Zone and get really pissed off at how many spike-related traps I'm seeing all at once. How many spike-related hazards are thrown my way at once? I mean, this is like complete overkill. And this is... Oh, uh, I thought that was a boss. Okay. This spring right here, traps like these are the absolute worst. If you design those, just don't even consider it, please. It's a, it's a, it's a cheap way of telling someone to slow down. Is it a spring? Okay. I was wondering if that was actually there or not. I think this would probably work better as a fan game as opposed to a ROM hack because you have limitations of a system. You could probably recreate it in Sonic Worlds and it would probably feel a little bit better. Hey, look at that. More spike traps. Don't you like how they want to screw you over so badly in this? Ugh. Like, there is a proper way to do spike traps, or do spike hazards. There's an improper way of doing it. Creating any possible... Oh gosh, that's gonna... Like, the surprise ones, I was never a fan of. Anything that can surprise hit you... Oh my gosh, I almost hit that stupid thing. I'm just not a... I, I can't really be okay with it. That's just how I am with these games. What I'm getting at is this. Uh, any Sonic game that kind of gives you an appropriate amount of time to react to something... Is this really that good? Funny how the levels are so much more difficult than the boss are, but then again... Or the boss is, but that's just how Sonic 1 was anyways. Except for Labyrinth Zone, that was tough. So, I do want to see a little bit of the next zone, and then give it a... Then just go and, um... And call it a video. I... I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really into going through more of this game. Hey, look. More reused assets. Just another part of this game. Okay, that's interesting. And hey, look, we got our friends the spike traps again. So, oh, they got little signs and stuff. Uh, I feel like that was supposed to give me something, but okay then. Spring Yard Zone, but with 
more of the ex excessive speed. Uh, with more of the speed that you really don't earn, and... Um... I don't know, there's not much else to it. Like, the level design's interesting until you get caught. And the shields actually do work as, as they normally do, so I'll, I'll give the game that. Goodness gracious, come on, game. Forget it. And you have another part of me from the moon the moonwalker version of another part of me. Uh, oh my gosh. I don't know, I'm just You know what? Hit that. Okay, that's that's fine. Wow, this looks so familiar. I feel like I've seen this already. Yeah, because I just went through it earlier. The beginning of the level, possibly what would have been the middle of the level, and at this part of the level, which... Oh. Uh, way to be edgy. That's not what I intended to do. Goodness gracious, game. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Mm. At this point, I have no more words for this game. So, we'll finish this one since I'm kind of like really. I'm pretty much knee deep into the level. Why not? Sonic Mega Mix or Sonic One Mega Mix? Okay. Ooh, that was an interesting one. I went right through that. I was gonna say, where did I go? Remember what I was saying about the whole this game tells you to slow down in the most punishing way possible. Introducing. Something that we've probably seen this entire video. The homing attack is not necessary in this game. Did I just get stopped? Hold on, let's do that again. How did I get stopped? Okay. Enemy placement 101. Whatever. I, I try not to be negative with these games, but I, I I just can't. Not with this game. I mean, look how long it's already taken. And I hit my mic. You know what? No. I refuse to continue this game. Um, only for the reason that it's just not fun. There's a way to do these games right, and there's a way that you don't do them, and... I don't care if somebody says, well, have you designed a game before? The answer is obviously no, but I know what it's like to design a level, and I know what it's like to design a bad level. So, my full thoughts on this game... Um, we could probably benefit from being a game that runs off the Sonic World engine as opposed or any kind of Sonic related engine as opposed to something like a Genesis ROM hack because I feel like you could do a lot more with it you can also eliminate potential slowdowns like what I experienced through a good portion of this game and you can also even if you really want to present the game in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio because this game is really gonna need it because I I just don't I don't like the fact that I was running into spikes all the time, or that there was some kind of spike hazard. And also, please remove the homing attack, it sucks! So... There we go. Maybe give us a... an insta-shield! Insta-shield will be a lot better. But, whatever. Um, I will give them credit on the music, because a lot of it is pleasing to the ear, some of it not so much, but it's it's a Genesis sound font, so... Uh, make Do with it what you will. Um, 
it's obviously up for anyone's opinion. So, there you go. So, uh, level design sucks, because I'm gonna be very honest, it was fast at some points, it was punishing at some points, it was blocky at some points. You do get some speed, sometimes you get a huge amount of it in a large area where it just feels like you're running on autopilot. And then you also have in the shortest possible amounts of burst where you run into either a spring that will knock you into a pit or into a spike trap that you haven't that you can't see coming. So I feel like the level design in this is not very good. It's memorable, of course, but that's only because it seems like the developer has a certain fetish for uh, spike traps and other hazards just waiting to throw you into them. So do I recommend this? Uh, it's up to you. I don't care at this point because I'm, I would find it extremely boring, but if you really want to play it, go for it. By all means, that's up to you. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, wow, I really did not want to end on this note, but you know what? I did anyways. What are your guys' thoughts on this ROM hack? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more content and you're not subscribed yet, Join the Nux Club by subscribing to the channel, click the bell icon so you can get notifications for new content. At this time, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsors, to my sponsors, the members of Nux Club Plus. You'll see the names on screen right now. And if you want to consider sponsoring the channel, you can find out how to do so with the YouTube gaming link down below. Some of the perks you can get include a badge so that way whenever I do a live stream, you can chat and you can interact with people. They will see that you have that badge and it'll change over time to different colors, so different variants of it. And then you also get emotes that you can use during those streams as well. But, on top of that, you also get an exclusive chat on my Discord server. If you want to find me outside of YouTube, my Twitter, my Discord server, my Sonic Amino profile page will all be linked down below. And with that said, I hope you have a wonderful and safe day, and I will catch you for the next Sonic ROM hack video. This one I'm just not so keen on. Um, I'm sorry, but I can't. Take care.